Hey everybody, welcome to some Clone Evolution content. On today's show, we're going to be showing you how to make a gold hero fast. If you need to make one gold hero to complete an offer, today's show is the episode for you. Because that's what I'm going to do right away, is show you how to make one gold hero the fastest. Alright, so let's do that quick. Now the gold hero you're going to need to make the fastest is I'll show you who it is and where you can get them. The gold hero that you need is this guy named Founding Fathers. Now there's more than one way you can get him. You can get him just from random purple draws, but there's the most like go-to method for sure to get him. I'll show you. You go up here, Supply Depot. Go here, right there, Founding Fathers. He costs 400 for five frags. You're gonna need 50. So in order to get him, you'll have to add another zero. So there you go. There's 4,000 versus points in order to get the Founding Father. And you're going to ask, where do you get the versus points? Well, it says here, it's in the arena. So boom. You have to go here, and you have to beat these arena matches. In order to beat them, there's General Arena, Cross Server Arena. You get three free matches in each of them, each day. So I'll show you a quick one, see how you can battle it, beat it. Pick your heroes, go into the battle. If you want to do it really fast, and you have this option up here, just click skip. It says you won. Alright, there you go. Now you've got some versus tokens. Got added to the total. Alright, so what you're going to need to do, I need to buy one, so that's what I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to go into the arena and show you. Here, Founding Fathers. Buy 10. That gives me 50. I really should have checked to see how many I had already. <laughs> Right, next you can see here, I'm going to go to the Darwin lab. And Founding Father has more ingredients. You need two more copies of him, which I already have. Next, you're going to need these two guys. So I'll show you where you can get them. You're going to need a place called the Campaign. Go here, click the Campaign. Then on this Campaign list, you're going to need to be on the General setting. You're probably going to be a noob in the game if you're watching for this information so yeah go there next you're gonna have to go and find the place you'll start here at the beginning and you're gonna have to work your way up until you reach the heroes that you need and I'll show you which battle places have them really should have wrote it down so I could have just showed you quick but this will actually give you a hint about which hero that you'll lock along the way just in case you're curious, ah, there, so there's the first guy. So pick auto battle, and then uh, it's going to set you to automatically get this character every time the game refreshes the next day. So come back here, pick claim, pick accelerate for free. Each day you get more and more. So once you have enough copies of him, I believe he requires 30 and not 50, because 50 is for the purples. Alright, so that was that one. Which is that? Chapter 9. Alright, next. I'll keep showing you ahead until we get to the next hero that you'll need. You can see there's quite a few bases that you're going to need to beat. So your mission won't be that fast. You're going to have to beat each of these. And each time the game resets, every 24 hours you'll get a new chance to beat these. Alright, these actually you can play anytime. I forgot. It's the other missions that will help you beat these ones, they refresh every day. Like this, the Accelerate for free and the Claim, those refresh every day. That's what I was talking about. Right, next, still looking for this next hero. He should be coming up soon. Or I passed him already, and I'll be very pissed. <laughs> ah, there he is. So, you have to play this place next. Where was it? Yeah, there it is there. Alright, so this is the next place. You'll have to play that till you build up enough fragments, and then boom, you'll have enough to make Founding Father. Right, next, I'll show you. I collected enough of each of those characters, so I'm going to spawn them up right now. Here's, I got these guys. Spartacus got 30 of them from doing what I just showed you. Clone them up. Boom, there he is. Spartacus. 
tiger. <laughs> Alright, next. I believe the other guy I already have in the lineup. So, oh wait. Next is the other Founding Father copy. Gotta clone him up. Boom! Alright, there's the next Founding Father. Alright, now, to make this final hero, what you will do is go to the Darwin Lab. Now you've com this is your home run stretch. You're going to be making your hero that you've been dying to this whole time. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> I'm trying to pick heroes that I don't need for ingredients for any other heroes. Pretty sure those are them. Uh. Right, there we go. There's all the components I needed to make the Founding Father. For these top two, you can just use random heroes, whoever you got, as long as they're... I think as long as they're lightning, yeah, so as long as they're lightning, boom, you can use them. Right, so after you've done that, this is how you complete your mission for one gold hero. You click Evolve. Boom! <laughs> Booyaka! Yeah, they gave me a little bit back of the, the potions there. That's because I had one of those guys up to one star. I was considering using him. Alright, so now I've got a new Founding Father hero. Now anyone else who wants to continue watching the video, I'm going to go back to my regular routine and do my daily grind. <laughs> Alright, so the main reason guys that I was doing that video to make an extra gold, just to get a couple more views to my channel. I figured a lot of people are going to want an extra copy of the Founding Fathers because they're making people for DNA and shit. It's like, let's check Trump's DNA. Fuck, getting close. Hey, I can take this chick out, link in my other founding father now. Let's do that. I think that was better. <laughs> I think that's what's the best thing to do is use gold heroes a lot for DNA so that's why I'm making more gold heroes and linking them How do I unlock DNA level 11? Where does it show my DNA level? Oh, well, there it is, DNA level 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah! Next level DNA for Trump. Alright, what's the next one? DNA level 21. Holy shit. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Ah, oh, it's not gonna be enough. All right, well, I'll save the DNA because I'm not gonna waste any more of it. But it looks like I can link one more. Who should I link? I think I'll link him for right now because I'm not using him for anything else. That's for damn sure. I definitely don't have any extra gold heroes of that type. Alright, so I think Trump has just increased his powers somehow. He's got extra 14% attack. That's pretty sweet. And his HP, it's up to 20% now. So, 
I don't know. I didn't see a drastic improvement in his health. I could have swore that it's what his health already was. Hmm. Yeah, it's too much Trump these days. I can hardly wait to get rid of him out of my lineup. I'm kind of hoping Kanye wins the election. Not that I hate Trump or anything, but I think it's time for a change. I've heard enough Trump complaining for a lifetime. <laughs> Now, with every leader, I make fun of Trudeau too, but really, any leader is going to have a rough go. How many leaders do we really have in history that have ever done a good job? Yeah, that's one thing about being a leader. It's like when you take that job, you're almost guaranteed to fail. <laughs> so that's, I think, why a lot of their hair goes gray. I hope Kanye takes it right if he wins it. That's the other thing too, they say once you're the president it sucks because then you're having to make decisions where people die, win either way. So that it gives you stress because you're like, shit, people keep dying on my decisions. And people are like, oh, just choose where people don't die. It's like, well, it's not that easy. Most times when you're president, you're making choices between which people die, not if people die or not. I'm pretty sure of all the jobs, I would never take actually being president. It'd be too stressful. Yeah, this limited event is going for the casino, and I don't have enough of the fucking spins to make it to 200, so I kind of feel like I'm a waste for spinning at this point. Although I do want to keep spinning because fuck, it'd be nice to win that guy. I need him to get uh, someone up to red. Can you imagine if I got him and I could just make a red hero today? My team really isn't ready for red, I think. Hmm. Alright, let's do it for the hell of it. Can you imagine I get him? Ah, oh, son of a whore! <laughs> Now I'm going to have to be a little bit more polite with my language because I notice I have a number of female viewers now. <laughs> yeah, and maybe in today's episode, guys, remind me, i got to do a shout out to all the viewers. I couldn't believe it. I checked the page list to see where all the viewers were from. I was like, oh, i got a couple of viewers from maybe the States. And I was like, holy fuck. Man, you guys are all over the fucking world. <laughs> Yeah, let's see if I can find it. Nah, this page isn't it. Son of a whore. <laughs> now I made a file that had the, the list of everyone who was watching. Saved it to this file. Oh, there it is. I just couldn't remember the name of it. Alright, so let's check out the viewers. Sorry about the lag. Is it caught up yet? <laughs> that wasn't actually slow motion. Right, yeah, I believe it's caught up now. So let's begin the viewer shout out. Here's the viewers have been watching the last 28 days. From the United States. 4,000 views. 249 hours of watch time. That's fucking sick. Alright, next we got Russia. We got fucking 1500 views. 92 hours of video. Can you imagine 92 hours of my show playing in Russia? <laughs> Alright, next we got Canada. That's where I'm from. Hoping there's a whole bunch of babes from this country that are watching the show. <laughs> Highly doubt that, but we'll see. We got a thousand views. Um, 76 hours of watch time this month. Holy shit, Canada. Alright, so we got the UK. We got a thousand views. 57 hours this month. Holy shit, UK. It's like, I wouldn't mind to travel to the UK, because at least I can speak the language of the chicks there. Alright, let's see. Germany. I only speak a few words in German. <laughs> Bitter Splakens in London. <laughs> Alright, next thing we can go, 
He is 46 hours in Germany. Holy. My diamond in Helmen. <laughs> France. Next we have 647 views. Short view duration. Maybe I need to speak more French. Bonjour. Comment tu vas tu? Ça va bien. <laughs> right, next we got 28 hours. Ukraine. We got 613 views. Watch time. 28 hours. Be <laughs> Alright, next thing we got is Spain. What is it? 554 views. Ooh, long view duration. Thank you, Spain. Uh, what is it? Uh, muchos gracias, senor. <laughs> I think. <laughs> Watch time hours. 33 hours. Brazil. We have 324 views. Holy shit, this is going to take hours. I'm going to have to just start reading it from here. Countries, if you want to get me to give more shouts out to you, you're going to have to put in more view hours. <laughs> so we got Spain, Brazil, Australia, Romania, Mexico, Norway, Italy, Sweden, Poland, Singapore, Denmark, Philippines, South Korea, Netherlands, Hungary. You got to stop moving this. <laughs> Check it. Czechia? I don't know if it's that Czechoslovakia. That'd be cool. Seen some good movies from there. If anyone wants to make more, call me. <laughs> Colombia, Finland, Lithuania, Turkey. That's pretty cool. Turkey's an airport. I was always thinking of traveling because it's the cheapest to land. I don't know why is that? Is there something I should know? <laughs> but yeah, big shout out to everyone who's been watching the show. I know I do a lot of content for Entropia and Clone Evolution and my paranormal video and ancient mystery research. So there's not just all viewers from Clone Evolution, guys. So, But I still include you guys in those numbers, so I appreciate it. So I thought I would share it. Big shout out. Huge thanks. I don't know, it's kind of freaking me out that so many people are watching me around the world. But hey, what can you do? Oh. That yeah, makes me feel like a professional. <laughs> Imagine how trippy it must be for PewDiePie when he logs in and sees. Or maybe it's like only people from like one country that watch him. Maybe he's not too big in India. It's that T-Series. Heard it's great. Right, next I set the campaign mode. Yeah! To the purple guy. Managed to get another copy. That's fucking unreal. Usually I never get them. Excuse me. Sorry guys, I'm drinking a little bit of pop tonight, so... Might get my system a little bit airy. <laughs> Giving my body an aeration. <laughs> I used to run an aeration machine. They're pretty heavy. <laughs> now, if you ever have to run an aeration machine, excuse me. It's your first day and you find it a little stressful, try to give it time. Usually after like maybe a half shift of doing it, it starts to become second nature. Or all but that first fucking half of the shift, it's a nightmare. <laughs> Unless you used other other machines. If you've used a tamper machine before, then you'll probably be okay. If I had to use tamper or aerator. I think I would use the tamper instead. It's a little bit easier. Because at least with a tamper machine you're going to be pounding level surfaces. Aerators you have to do hills and cliffs or fucking edges. It's not fun. 
Alright, so I was showing the guys that were figuring out the gold heroes. Some of this, but I'll finish it because I want some too. I gotta get all my daily tasks done. I don't know if I have anything more exciting for you guys today. I think just making that extra gold was the big thing. Now as far as fighting today, maybe we'll get some more arena battles in. That'd be pretty sick. Or not arena, that's what I'm doing now. Yeah, I should do some harder battles, but I'm going to wait till I get to some more exciting ones. Just skip these and get them done quick. <sighs> Holy fuck, I lost. Son of a whore. happened there? I could have swore I picked an easy battle. <laughs> it's that Trump. He's just on a losing spree. <laughs> Kanye's got them all shaken up. <laughs> now the main reason I like Kanye is he's a bit conservative as well. He's very anti-vaccine which I was kind of surprised. It's like for me, I don't mind vaccines as long as I got like 50 years trial history. It's like, okay, I'll, I'll try my chances with those. I'm a little bit skeptical of the ones that are made like in a few months. <laughs> no experimental time or safety trials. Kind of in one of those camps where I like, like, I'd like a whole bunch of other people to try it first. <laughs> See how they like it. <laughs> People are like, oh, you're so anti-vaccine. I'm like, no, I'm not. I like other people to try them first, then I'll give it a try. <laughs> I just don't want to be the first one. <laughs> it's like, fuck that shit. <laughs> it's like being first to dance. It's like some people are into that, so hey, all the power to those people. They want to be the first to try some vaccines. It's like, all the power to you. I definitely won't make fun of you. <laughs> Alright, getting some more robots. Alright, before this battle begins, let's give a little bit more training. It's kind of freaking me out, my team for battling, or my super dodge team is almost complete. Like, look at this. Sun of Black Hole is only three levels away from Max. Then I just have Geronimo to Max and Sword God. Hopefully by the time I've maxed those other two, I'll have got the enough clones I need to make him. Yeah, has anyone posted in the, the chat yet? Is Alexander a well, really bad idea for a tank? Is he a little bit like King Peter how he heals himself? Yeah, then I'm hoping I also have uh, Jane Austen up to gold. Yeah, let's check that. Who do I still need? Let's see, for Harsh Assassin, I almost have him. I have one copy of him. So I have to boost him up to gold, which is going to require a few more copies of him. But once he's up to gold, I'm getting close. I already have him at gold. And I already have the two spare gold. So I'm really just a few purple suns of black hole away. Then I'll have a red crime fighter or a harsh assassin. 
Trump's very close because I have this guy. I've got, well, I have enough frags to make one of him, but I want to make three of him before I clone him up because I figured that's how many you need. Yeah, and then once he's at gold, then I'm, I have a couple copies of this guy going too. I could buy one right off the store right now, but it'd be the Vibram tokens. I don't know, getting a red Trump. So I'm getting close to having two red heroes. Kind of jumping the gun, because really I shouldn't have a whole team of golds before I start introducing reds. We're going to have a team of fucking red, gold, and purples. <laughs> yeah, so I guess Symphony requires this guy. I don't have him. I'll have to look into him. Don't have him either. Crime Fighter. I need more copies of him. And I have enough copies of that guy. Don't have any of him. I was hoping to get him from the casino event, but it never happened. Samson. Need two copies of him. Only have one. Got copies of this guy. No copies of him. And I'm tempted to use the trunk copy for him. If I had two of those, then I'd have to get another little dipper. I've got this guy. Got those. The only one I need is him. As soon as I get him, boom. Jane Austen gold. Her. Got enough of her. Just need a Harsh Assassin and Robin. I've had both of them before, but I used them as ingredients. Kind of wish I would have saved them. Fuck! <laughs> Alright, this guy. I can get more copies of the Symphony. I can get more copies of... Or I have one of her. Have him. Have... Or only have one of him. So I need one more copy of him. Then I can boost him up to gold. Him, I'm a long ways away. I don't plan on using him. This guy, I think I have enough right now. I have two copies of him. Oh yeah, I got rid of my f shit. I can make another one of him pretty easy. Got lots of copies of him. So really, I'm one here away from making this guy gold. Which could do at any time. This guy, I'm only 20 frags away. Because I got him, him. Yeah, and I've got, what is it, 40 or 30 frags? So I'm like 20 frags away of getting them. Maybe even 40. <laughs> this guy, I've got him. So really, I just need two copies, Sons of the Black Hole. One Robin. Boom. Got him to gold. Boom. Got the other person to red. So that's pretty sick. Yeah, this guy, I have enough, I think, to boost him up. No, I'm one hero away with him, too. It's weird how many one hero aways I am, right? Is the game setting me up like that? Like, I have him, have him, just need two Dronmos, boom. Gold Dronmo. Got him, got him, just need two Sword Gods, boom. Gold Sword God. Yeah, maybe I should make up another copy of him, Gold. Got him. Oh, I just used him. Alright, so that's quite a little peek at where my team is going. Or at least I hope they're going. Want to get a whole bunch of new golds. Oh, here we go. Yeah, he's 20 frags away. Can make up some King Peters. Uh, let's do a bit more guild battles for today. But before we do, we'll get a quick message from the sponsor. Today's show was brought to you by Crack. Crack. It'll fuck you up. Alright, thanks everybody. Welcome back to the show. Now we will get down to some battles.
Alright, I'm pretty sure I was able to beat Green once, or a couple times, but lately they've been kicking my ass. So I'm hoping there's been a, a renaissance and I can beat down some Greens. Alright, that looks like a pretty good lineup. Although the battle I'm facing is probably still way out of my league. <sighs> now, temperature is pretty good right now. Got my room window open. Nice cool breeze. Not drenched in sweat. <laughs> Brains working almost. <laughs> I don't know what's breaking it. Man, I tried something new today. I was using electronic scale. It was pretty sick. Used Bluetooth, hooked up to my computer, and fucking everything was going great. I was like, man, I can do a podcast, sync all my results, share it with the viewers, bone density, fucking visceral fat, everything. But the fucking scale kept draining the batteries like really fast because it's Bluetooth, right? It's like, I don't know who thought using batteries and Bluetooth was a good combo. I don't know, I could have swore somewhere in the package said the batteries would last like 12 months. Well, I was checking the scale like a couple, three, four times a day, and I fucking drained the batteries in a week. <laughs> Even like, oh, look at it, I'm killing them. Yeah! <laughs> it's like I glanced up and all the dogs are dead. Well, that's what I like to see. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I gotta get some hate for that one. <laughs> now, to be fair, I love dogs. I used to raise dogs, a whole bunch of different breeds. So if you ever need someone to babysit dogs, they actually know how to a certain degree. Unless they need needles for like diabetes or something. I can't stand needles, even for dogs. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, this scale just soaked the batteries. And it wasn't so bad, I was just like changing the batteries every now and then. But then when I was changing batteries one day, it just didn't turn back on. Excuse me. So I looked it up online, found out this was a common issue, so I messaged the company. And they're saying, yeah, instead of repairing it, they just send you a new one. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> but I've been hesitant to try it again, because that same comment keeps coming up in the chat. That you can only change the batteries a few times before eventually it goes. So what I did is I checked online, and they have this new thing. Well, it's not new. It's out of China. And it's a dummy battery system. Where it like hooks up one battery that's good to a wire to an outlet to the wall. And the other ones are just dummy batteries that fill the, the device to complete the circuit. And then you just plug it into the wall. So I'm going to try that. Hopefully it works. And then I'm going to link it. I'm going to try to get fit series with these videos too. Maybe share with my viewers how it's going. Yeah! Now I'm hoping the main reason to do it is to get your guys help. You're always helping me with clone evolution. I think if you help motivate me by like saying good work when I get stuff done and on that scale, then it should help me too. So not only will I be able to help you guys with content to watch, but you can help me get back in shape. <laughs> I don't know when it's going to begin. I've been trying to somewhat eat right, but it's not really working out the greatest. I find once I track myself and I have to make beat a goal, that's really when I work at it. So this journey is probably going to be about 40 pounds. And I know it's no like miracle journey how some people lose 100 pounds or whatever, but I'll try my best to make it exciting along the way. <laughs> now you can probably see it. It's like I've got a little bit chubbier in the face lately. So hopefully once I get done this challenge, I'll be back down to a normal amount. 
The only thing I don't like about losing a whole bunch of fat in your face is it makes your skin a little bit like droopy. <laughs> it's more wrinkle prone. Whereas if you got a fat face, it fills it out. You don't have to worry about wrinkles as much. I'm sure you guys will realize that once you're into your 40s. <laughs> That's always a surprise when I got skinny. I was like, I was like, oh, everyone's going on about all these great benefits of being skinny. But I was kind of surprised at how many side effects are to being skinny. It's like being fat actually has quite a few advantages. <laughs> It's like what I mean, it's like when you're skinny, it's like when you lean on stuff, or it's like just laying down, everything's like poking you and jabbing you, but when you're like obese, it's like you're covered in pillows. <laughs> yeah, one again. It's like even girls, when they cuddle with you when you're obese, they're like, oh, you're so nice and soft and snuggly. <laughs> Then you get covered and ripped in muscles, and it's like laying on rocks. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back, guys. All right, everybody, I'm back. Just had to carry my uncle to the washroom, or actually to bed. He was very cooperative today. He was in, in the mood to actually get up and get into his bed. So I was sick. Didn't have to lift him. Which is very rare. He's only been cooperative maybe two or three days in the past two months. So today's a good day. <laughs> now I think what it might be is we tried some pills to help improve his mood. The doctor has actually prescribed them a long time ago. We never filled the prescription because we didn't think he needed them. But once he got into really bad shape, we're like, shit, we gotta try something. Miracles will never cease. The miracles of medical technology. Nice when you get it's at least one dizzy. Oh, that was good. That's what I was thinking. A few times I played these dogs, I just kicked the shit out of them. And then other times I couldn't even hit them. So I wasn't sure what was going on. Maybe someone's able to beat that gold one. That's why they keep playing it. I notice a lot of the enemies I'm fighting right now are like 160 level purples. I'm like, that's not even possible. I thought purple's cap was 100. I guess that cap doesn't apply to the enemies. Now, is every, everyone worried? Like, every time they cough, they're like, oh shit, maybe I caught something. Like, so far, I've been, like, social isolations or distancing or whatever you want to call it since the whole beginning. Haven't even been to stores yet. My fucking roommates just won't stop. They go shopping every single day. They refuse to do anything differently. And they're the fucking seniors. They're in the high-risk group. <laughs> so, I don't know. It's like It seems like a lot of the young people are caring and obeying these rules well seniors rightly so there's some of them only have a year or two left to live so they're not going to sit around and do nothing it's like if you only had two years left to live would you just sit around and do nothing fuck <laughs> well at least i beat them a few times I'm like, really, in life, it's not even just the seniors. Any of us could go anytime, right? Looks like this mission is pretty shit. I'll give it a shot.
Good to see this guy in gold. Because I've been planning on using him as ingredients. Because when I tried him out before, he wasn't really the greatest hero. I think I had copies of him before and got rid of him. It'd be funny if I did videos from when I first began the game. I went back in time and looked at all the heroes that I wasted. I'd be like, no! <laughs> like all those heroes I wasted, all the Catholic heroes I wasted, the Robins. Eh, so is life, right? Live and learn. <laughs> no, what was I was experimenting? I'm like, man, I wish I had a zoom on my camera. I'm like, oh yeah, I could just move my face closer. <laughs> Now I'm going to have to keep writing into the makers of this podcasting software exploit with ideas. My next big one is I want them to finish the update to allow me to use two cameras. Because I used to have a studio with two cameras. So I could do walking around scenes too. I'll have to work something out for the microphones for the second camera. As you can tell now, I'm just using the webcam mic. I really should upgrade that to a lapel mic or something that's wireless. So I can dance. <laughs> that's what all the viewers have been messaging me. We want to see more dancing. <laughs> you tell when I'm lying. <laughs> Yeah, some of the people in the chat were impressed at how far I made it with without getting a VIP level upgrade. I think what it is, is because I've been very consistently playing the game. The only days I never played is when I had technical issues and my phone wouldn't work. When I was switching devices. That's when I missed the fucking fragments to get that other gold hero. Fuck! <laughs> Yeah, so if I didn't have that phone issue, I would have already had that Alex in gold like weeks ago. Shit, like months ago even. Ooh, 15. That might have been enough. I'll go check. I could probably win a couple purples or blues in the expedition, so let's do that next. You can see I've been having mixed luck. Sometimes I beat the expedition, sometimes not. Really, the only hero I gotta switch now is Samson for an upgraded Budokai to gold, upgraded Jane Austen to gold. Man, I wish Alex had fucking poison. Hmm. Just thinking that'll be the major drawback of my team once I switch to Alex instead of Crime Fighter. Because I gotta get Crime Fighter up to gold in order to keep using him. It's like he was nice and purple. It's like he can even last quite a bit. Against level 110s or even 120s. But eventually I'm gonna need Alex in there. Get him up to 130, and he'll be better than Crime Fighter. <coughs> Let's 
Excuse me. No, I'm using some, uh, what is it, ginger ale to aerate myself. Seems to be helping. I was really weak on energy this week, too. It's like, dear God, I almost feel like I have to sleep, like, at least a two-hour nap a day. But I shouldn't complain energy-wise. Today, I finally had some energy. So it's like, use the energy, get real tired, and have to sleep. <laughs> Now we even brought my uncle in to the hospital and got the whole test for him, the, or the really hard one. It's been weeks and we still haven't had any results. Imagine it's like a month later they call you and they're like, oh yeah, you have it. It'd be like, a month later you tell us? It's like, <laughs> isn't the incubation period already supposed to be over by then or who knows? <laughs> Yeah, this horror ordeal is kind of a shit show. Can't imagine if we actually had like Ebola running rampant. <laughs> yeah, it's always figured. I was never really worried about people locking down. Because like as soon as everyone's like dying, they'll be like, oh shit, you won't have to tell people to lock down. They'll just do it automatically. The whole reason people didn't want to lock down was because hardly anyone was dying except for seniors. Holy shit, big crime fighter in gold. Lucky I have him dizzy. Oh shit. I've taken a lot of damage though. Jeez, it was just symphony. I don't know why. It's like he couldn't keep up in healing. How the hell did he get hit so bad? Alright, there's two blue frags. Now, my whole philosophy was just, hey, if there's a pandemic and people need to lock down, lock that risk people down. People that are fucking young and can keep the economy going without it crashing, they should almost get bonus and keep going. <laughs> I guess it's risky, but I don't know. You gotta kind of mitigate the risk to the high risk group, not to everyone, man. Unless there was like a lot of 20 year olds that were croaking. Man, I can't wait to have the Jane Austen in gold. Yeah, anyone want to put in the chat, which hero are you looking forward to me most creating? One of those reds, the two ones I was showing? <laughs> red is very tempting. I'm not even sure what the deal with red is. Do they get extra DNA? Maybe a higher level cap or something? Really cool looking costume. Boost of stats. That's the best, dude. Eh? The crime fighter doesn't even matter. He can be dizzy and he's still hitting everyone because they're getting poisoned every time they hit him. So really, he doesn't even have to be doing anything to do his attack. <laughs> Alright, now I can just heal myself while she's like that. There we go. That's how you kill a healer. Stun her so she can't heal. I was thinking too, like, I know one guy that does chip tunes, but I've bugged him for chip tunes quite a bit. So I was thinking if anyone has some chip tunes music that they make that 
YouTube won't flag and I can play it during the show quietly in the background, by all means, send me some links to your guys' stuff. I don't know, I guess in YouTube you can't sing links. I don't know how that works. Maybe just tell me about it in the chat so when I read it, I can just look up the name that you tell and you don't actually have to put the link. Just tell me what it's called without the .com part. And I'll just type .com once I fucking read your comment. Or maybe we'll just keep it blank and just the effects from the fight. Now I think it'd be nice to give back to the uh, community, allow some people to share some of their creative things too. Maybe do future collaborations, because I'm going to be doing more video projects, so if anyone's into music making, just let me know. Now I got another guy who's into music making, but he's also working full time, so he doesn't have a lot of time to make music. Alright, five more blues. How's my team doing? Looking pretty good. I would just skip these, but I find when I skip them, the game just tells me I died. I'm like, I don't believe you. I want to watch it out and see you. Very skeptical that way. It's all the years of paranormal shows. You start to become very skeptical of everything. Especially people that are skeptical of things. I'm most skeptical of them the most. <laughs> Debunk the debunkers. <laughs> yeah. No. No. I was thinking things were going well in this battle. Then I'm like, wait a minute, I didn't stun anyone. <coughs> well, at least I tried my best and I got three extra, or a bunch of blue extra frags. Oh yeah, I killed one more. Not to say you guys are bad luck or anything. I don't know what it is. When I play this campaign and you guys are watching, I win most times. But then when I record it, it's like it always loses. I'm pretty sure you guys have recalled that in the last like two or three ones I've recorded, I lost. But when I started this one today, you could see that I had the gold chest unlocked. So I did beat it the last time. I wish I could retreat part way through the match. So it's like if I knew I wasn't going to win, I could keep those troops and use them for the next battle. Like that was bad. I didn't even make it to the third last one. Sons of bitches. Now I really got to make the decision who I'm going to give the five stars to. Hmm. Now let's clone up the blue guy. See if I have enough. Yeah, 30 right on the button. How was that for a good guess? <laughs> and Blackbeard. It's pretty useless. At least I got lots of room in my lineup now after making that new gold. You can see he's 71. Once he's up to 100, then I'll have two copies of him. Does anyone know the Sandman tree? Yeah, someone was showing me the tree for characters. Like, how do you even check that out? Is it on the hero chart? Like, where's the tree for this guy? 
Oh, Soar's Gene Bank. Oh, it says the source if you click the top right. That's cool. So you can get him all those places. Let's see, what's his source? The gene bank? Or the casino? Well, that's not right, because I've seen him as rewards for different events. So there's more ways than that. <laughs> Let's check this guy. So he's only from the Darwin lab. Oh, is he that hero wrestling guy upgraded? Shit, I really should have upgraded him. He's sick. So how do I see this tree? Does anyone know? Click a hero. Click that, shows that. I don't see any tree button. It's probably right in front of me and I don't see it. Maybe it's in the Darwin machine. Let's check that. Maybe that'll show the tree. I got a few minutes here. It'd be nice if I could find it. <laughs> ah, there's the tree. All right, it shows that. Makes sense. But really, that tree button's kind of useless. Let's see. But yeah, you can see that... Wait a minute. That's Trump. How come it's showing Trump's evolution? Oh, there. Yeah, so you can see his tree ends there. Alright, this makes sense. Yeah, so it was that guy. Shit, I had him before, but I ditched him. I didn't know he transformed to gold. I should have kept him. I still haven't had the ingredients to make him to gold, so it wouldn't have mattered. Alright, John Jane Austen, her max is gold. Figured. His max is gold. Purple. Oh no. There's Jane Austen. She goes up to red. I was just looking at the wrong thing. Well, that's not right. Jane Austen doesn't require these characters. <laughs> oh, so he turns to that guy. Oh, Santa Claus you need. Alright, so now I'm getting a grasp of who these red heroes are and who they require. Who, Cleopatra turns into that fat chick? Is that right? Yeah, it's neat when you're playing this game. Here I've been playing for so many months and I didn't even understand where these trees were.
I don't know, this is confusing. These red ones. Like, where's Harsh Assassin? Alright, so to turn, to get that dog, that's who Harsh Assassin turns into? Is that correct? Because I know that is who I need for Harsh Assassin. That's parts correct. Never even seen this guy. Alright, so I guess I've learned a whole bunch of new stuff today. do that oh well, yeah I was gonna say that'll be the thumbnail but then I forgot this whole video is already has a thumbnail I was making it for the viewers who wanted to see how to get one gold clone evolution the fastest so I hope you guys liked it <laughs> now if anyone sticked around for the whole video I really appreciate it maybe you can hit the subscribe and the notification button everyone if you want to drop down below too Learn how to make money by watching videos, listening to the radio, playing video games, or even cash back on online purchases. Just hit the see more button in the description and it'll bring a whole bunch of links below. And it's my affiliate link so it helps my show out a lot. So you guys can sign up and even share it on your websites. Get other people as your affiliates. So make sure you keep uh, on the lookout if anyone happens to see dogs licking a cat and the cat has diarrhea I don't know it coughs up some hairballs you get hairballs in your vaporizer and give the show a dislike but if not if you continue to like it I really appreciate it, it means the world to me <laughs> make sure you guys never ever buy the products from my sponsor I swear it will ruin your life bye for now see you tomorrow Watch the playlist. You'll like it. There's the link if you want to subscribe. Just press it. I swear, it won't ruin your life. Just my sponsor will. <laughs>